Hey everybody, I just wanted to take this time and just share with you a few things that will be upcoming on uh, the telecast here on uh, Up North 2 Television. You know the old familiar scripture is John 3.16. Almost every person knows this verse. It says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that really capsules the Gospel uh, in a nutshell. That God loved you and I so much that He gave His Son Jesus to save us from our sins. Well, we want to stick to that Gospel message as we present Christ to this generation. And I've noticed so many times it seems like that we are so self-focused. I mean, our messages are about self. Our, our uh, projects are about self. Our social media posts are about self. And we really need to begin to lift up Jesus once again to, to, to His rightful place as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now listen, don't get me wrong. Every single human being is important to God. God loves every one of us. He is concerned about what we're going through. Uh, as Christians, we are called to comfort those who are in distress and who are hurting. We're called to speak words of life to people. All of that is wonderful and it's true and it's good to do. But I'm concerned because it seems like so many people today need constantly to be stroked constantly to be told what a great job they're doing, what a hero they are. Uh, constantly they need to be uh, lifted from one crisis to another. Now listen, don't get me wrong, I believe in helping people, but I, at the same time I want to tell you this, if we would lift up Jesus Christ, I believe it would take care of people's problems if, if they want their problems taken care of. We don't ever want to get caught in a trap where we thrive on other people's attention. And I think that's going on far too much today in the body of Christ. Anytime you've got somebody who's, you know, uh, here I am, this is me, hear me, see me, pay attention to me, and then they get violently angry when it doesn't happen, we've got a spiritual problem going on here. And so we want to address that over this telecast in the coming days, weeks, and months as we just lift up Jesus. Uh, I don't want the world to see Len. I want the world to see Jesus. When we do a project, we don't want it to be about Len and Angie. We want it to be about Jesus. Now, yes, we're going to talk about it. Yes, we're going to promote it. Yes, everybody needs to hear, hey, that was a great thing. Hey, that was a good job. Everybody needs to hear that. But here's the question I want to ask. In 2016, in our world that we're living in today, do we need to hear that too much? Is it something that, I mean, there's a normal, there's a normal encouragement that we do where others are concerned and, and building up and lifting up and, and edifying people. There's a normal aspect there, but have we stepped over into an abnormal situation with it sometimes? where we just we can't get through a day unless somebody validates us. I want to tell you something. God validated you on the cross. God validated you with the blood of His Son. God validated you and God is deeply concerned about the things that have broken your heart. But the answer is not in uh, staying in that place with that open wound constantly seeping, the answer is for you to get to Calvary and get washed in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And so I wanted to share that with you today, that this is what we're going to be talking about. Coming up in the program, we've got a few more battlefield things we want to show you first, probably before we get to those messages. And also, on radio, I've been talking an awful lot about Jesus Christ is the only way to get to heaven. And that's a very unpopular thing to say in today's politically correct America. But it is the truth nonetheless. Jesus Christ is the only Savior. He's the only way to get to heaven. He's the only way that you and I can ever be right with God because Jesus was the perfect sin offering that shed His blood 
to save us. And so we're going to rework those radio messages for television and we're going to be bringing that to you as well. I'm excited about what God is doing and, I, and again, don't get me wrong, you need to be out there encouraging people, you need to be out there blessing people, you need to be out there drying their tears and filling their hearts with hope. Filling their hearts with hope. But don't get over into an abnormal situation. If you've been hurt, and we all have, so you see, when we are hurt, in that posture, we think that we're the only ones who've ever been hurt, or we consciously realize that others have been hurt too, but we don't act like that. We act like we're the only ones that are going through this severe thing. That's not true. And we have to realize that that's not true. And we have to begin to hook up and connect with the body of Jesus Christ. Don't face your problem and don't face your hurt alone. Hook up with the church because that's why God put the church here. Hallelujah. And so, we, you know, you need to go out there and fill people's hearts with hope. But when you're doing that, don't pump up the self of the individual. Point the individual to Christ. And, and as we decrease, glory to God, I feel the Holy Spirit on that. As we decrease, Jesus Christ will increase. And when he increases, your problems get solved. Your scars get balm applied to them and soothing applied to them. You'll, you, you may always have the scar because it shows that you're human and you've been on a life journey with Jesus. And scars are good. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something else. I'll take it a step further here in this program today. Problems are good. It's good to have problems. Why? Because God can come and show up and show out in the midst of your difficulties. And what we want to do is point people to that. So, I'm hoping you're understanding where I'm coming from with this. I hope you understand. I'm not telling you uh, to not be concerned about others. That's Let's be adults and not children, okay? But I'm definitely telling you that we all know those people that just every day, all the time, they're crying out for attention. Give them normal attention. Tell them to begin to lift up Jesus in their life. Give them the normal, but don't give them the abnormal attention that you know, hear me, see me, look what I'm doing, this is what I am, this is I, 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 I. We've got eye trouble in the church today. And the eye trouble is not only in the pew, and, and there's a bunch of it there, but the eye trouble is also in the pulpit. And so what we have to do, again, it's not wrong to talk about what you're doing. Please, be adults, not children here with me this morning. But what I'm telling you is this. Lift up the gospel which God so loved this world that he gave his son to save us from our sins. And that's the message that will rescue you in the midst of your pain and in the midst of your hurt. Now, I just read that one verse of scripture. There are many others. We alluded to the scripture that says, uh, if I must decrease... Len Paxton has to decrease. What does that mean? Does that mean i got to quit preaching and quit doing what I'm doing? No. Here's what it means. It means that I have to die to my need for your approval. It means that I have to die to my need for your applause. I have to die to my need for your pat on my back. Now listen, I love to pat people on the back. And there's a whole bunch of great people in our world today that deserve it. And it's okay to do it once in a while. But when a person is craving that pat on the back, they are out of line with the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Lift up Christ. So as I decrease, as I die to my need for the bright lights of this world, then Christ begins to increase. And I would much rather, when I walk into a room, and I've given my life for this gospel. I would much rather people see Jesus Christ all over me with the anointing than to see me. Poor, pitiful, sinful Len Paxton. So that's where I'm coming from with this whole thing. I'm going to say this as I close. 
this portion of the program. Every human being is tremendously important and valuable in God's kingdom. God wants to use every human being in his kingdom. My wife and I were discussing on the ride over here today, a guy in the Bible, we don't even know his name, they just called him Ho Such a One. And, and God used him to accomplish a great task at the moment in his kingdom. Uh, there's a bunch of Ho Such a Ones that I'm talking to right now that nobody knows your name. Nobody's, nobody's ever going to know your name. Your name's not going to be in lights or on the front cover of a book or on a marquee. But you're, but ho such a one. God wants to use you, ho such a one. God wants to use you in a strategic moment in his kingdom. We don't need accolades. We don't need acclaim. What we need is to be filled with Jesus so that he can use us. If he never records my name uh, in anything but the Lamb's book of life, if all I am is a whole such a one, then let me be the best whole such a one that I can be and reach out and win a million to Jesus today in 2016 and beyond. Let God use my life. Don't let me become so filled with pride and ego and arrogance that God can no longer use me. And I pray that prayer. Oh, I pray that prayer for myself almost every day because this isn't about me. And this isn't about you. And this isn't about First Baptist or Church of God or Assembly of God or Independent or Baptist or whatever. This is about Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should have everlasting life. Ladies and gentlemen, that is coming. These are the messages that are coming to this television program because I want to issue forth a call to all of America, to all of my friends, to all of Traverse City, to all of my preacher friends in Traverse City. I want to encourage you. I want to issue a challenge and a call forth from our platform to come out and begin to cooperate with your brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I mean, it, it is not right to stay to yourself. It is not right for your just your little church. It is not right, bless me, my four, and no more. And that's the mentality that is crippling the area. Let us open it up for Jesus, for revival to come to Traverse City, Michigan one more time. And not just Traverse City, but wherever this program is going today, in Jesus' mighty name. So these are the things that I want to talk about. Let's get back to the gospel. The gospel is, is not about <clears throat> how I can solve every single one of my problems. It tells me how that can happen. I need to get in Christ. You're either going to be in Christ or in crisis. But you ain't going to be in both at the same time. Glory be to God. But this, the, the gospel is not about me having a good self-esteem. The gospel is not about self-anything. And I, again, please let me say... I'm not trying to make light of anyone's hurts or problems. And we all have the need for affirmation. I'm not opposed to that. But it's gotten out of hand. And we are a narcissistic society. We are a self-focused life uh, in so many cases. And Christians, Christians. And so let this mind be in you, the mind that is in Christ Jesus, the scripture says. He died to self. And so that's what we need to do also. So I just wanted to stop, share this with you on this week's telecast, that these are some of the messages that are going to be coming. And God bless you. We'll see you a little further on up this gospel trail.